Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today we're going to be doing a After Effects video, and um, this is going to get into how to make a infinite uh, loop as far as a text scroll. So for example, I uh, am creating a new courses on different platforms, Udemy and a few other places, and it will bring people over from my YouTube channel and in a few other places uh, having a loop thing and, and even saying hey there's a coupon there and there's extra things in those platforms but as far as that goes how do I turn this into a loop effect in After Effects and um, what you need to do first things first is if you don't know how to do this already go ahead and put the text wherever you want it and you need to start it where you want it to originally start. So um, it, this takes a little bit of planning, but what you want to do is set down the position, the starting position, and the end area, wherever you want it in, is go ahead and set down a in position. Now with the uh, in position, make sure that it looks right, just, just minimally visual it where it looks right where it, it uh, ends and starts so when it when it starts again it looks okay so from here once you got all that done is there's uh, a few ways to do this but uh, the easiest what I found is just go to right right click the text and go to pre compose and just go ahead and press ok it doesn't really matter what it's called from here, what you want to do is just simply select that and um, trim it down to whatever size you want. So, for example, with here, we're just going to trim it down to, let's, let's go ahead and go all the way down here and just trim it all the way down to whatever size we want. And what this is going to do is it's going to, instead of it keep going on and on and on, it tells the player on here when the animation is supposed to stop. So make sure it's on the right frame, not ending too early, not ending too late. So right here is about right frame. So from here, what we need to do is go to here and go to trim the to workstation or work area and then go back to the main and we can see here it's, it's trimmed otherwise the uh, this will be all, all the way to the other end so now what we need to do is go to layer and go to time enable time remapping and what this is going to do is put two points so let's go ahead and zoom in on the last point hopefully on the last point and um, what we want to do is go one before let's make sure that yeah one before and uh, what we want to do is add another point right here this old point make it double click on it make it zero and then go ahead and and uh, delete it now Real quick, if um, if if uh, for some reason this didn't stand out all the way like like it's shown here, go ahead and extend that out. And what we want to do now is go to um, animation, select the time remap, go to animation, go to add expression. Go to this little arrow thing, go to properties, go to loop out type equals cycle num keyframe zero. So make sure you got that. And uh, let's test it out. And as you see here, it works. Obviously, with the rendering, it stutters a bit until it's fully rendered. But that's that. So now we got a scrolling text that we'll just keep scrolling over and over and over. The thing to keep in mind though is as you're dealing with this 
is if you need to change the tax or, or resize it or whatever it may be, it can negatively affect everything. Um, as long as it's the same size uh, as far as the um, stuff goes, it, it should be fine, but um, it, it's just something to keep in mind that you want to have your text edited to the to the size and, and everything else that you want before you get started. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out, and um, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and whatever, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.